What's going on everybody? You already know who it is. It is your boy the dry nude here today guys I want to give you the very best key binds that you guys could possibly set up when it comes to mouse and keyboard and more specifically your keyboard and the thought process of what you want to do, what you're going to be looking after. Now, I want to say, guys, this is definitely based on your personal preference. Whatever I say in this video, customize it to you. These are my keybinds and what I use, and I am comfortable with them. And I feel like they provide me with the best functionality in order to cut, like, perform well in this game so i have my nice little ducky keyboard right here and this is pretty much my thought process okay i'm a traditional keyboard player i use wasd okay w for me to move forward a s d okay a move back w forward and just pretty much these movements right here okay now this is what i built my um primarily my keybinds around i want to be able to continue to move have full functionality sprint is actually shift okay so my sprint is shift my slide i am not used to bringing my pinky all the way down to hit the control right here okay like that's just super weird for me i can't do it so what i ended up doing my caps lock is actually my slide and this is what i'm talking about functionality being used to you know having your hands a certain way now if you guys look i have really big hands this is a ducky uh 60 keyboard by the way so right here shift run uh, my slide is caps lock okay and now here's where we get into the fun part i originally had my um weapon switch on my mouse button i got the i don't know if you guys can see it the g pro okay g pro wireless is what i use there's a logo right there but i usually i originally had it on the side buttons but i actually switched them just because i wanted more functionality so my weapon swap is actually three okay i use three and by this i'm still able to run around i'm still able to move i'm still able to look i can move left i can move right if i need to so my weapon switch around is three okay now, some people like to use one and two. I could use one and two for one weapon, like my main weapon and my secondary, but three, they have something called, they have in this game weapon switch around. So I just had to press one button and I could switch from my primary to my secondary all on one button, okay? So this is what I mean when it comes to finding something that you are useful or you, that you can get used to, okay? My space is my jump, okay? Now something a little different, my crouch, okay, or not my crouch, but my prone is C. And the reason why it's C, look how easy it was to stand up, slide. St or stand up, go prone, sorry, not slide. Boom. So I can do this at the drop of a dime if I need to. I can be shooting, go prone. Slide, see, this is the key bind that I use. Some people like to use V, because the reason why they use V is they have their thumb on their space bar, and then they just have to roll it over to hit V to go prone. I personally just like to hit the C button with this finger. The only problem with that is I gotta be quick to go prone and switch weapons, right? And that's just muscle memory, okay? So right here, these are all the key binds that I use personally, WASD, where I was talking about caps lock to jump, C to prone, sprint slash steady, you know, shift. I don't have a walk. Uh, my fire weapons, switch weapon is three, okay? So this is where it gets different. I have, I use E to, um, interact a lot of new gamers and a lot of people in this like era of gaming they use f to interact i come from the era of where they had e to interact that was your primary interact button so i just can switch that to e okay i if you're used to f use f i just switched uh f for my lethal equipment in other games is usually g which is fine like when csgo F is to inspect your weapon, and then G is to throw a grenade. I still do that, 
but in this game i like to throw my weapon or grenades closer to um closer to uh my original key binds wasd so f is just one key over next um aim down sights that's all doesn't matter uh tactical equipment's q right there again building it in this little bubble okay so i don't have to reach all the way over here i don't use this uh part of my keyboard okay i just use literally half of my keyboard everything is right in front of me ready to go okay q use my field upgrades x again right in front of me uh melee slash zoom that's actually on my mouse button i just hit down to melee um interact i have e like i said ping is z again right there super easy to use call for help b b at my thumb right there okay super easy uh score streaks okay score streaks one two and four i have three to switch my weapon as you know so that p bind's already used up so one two and four are my score streaks again super easy to press everything is right here um score streak slash turn that doesn't matter score streak extra slot c again i don't use six for too often that's usually just if you pick up uh a score streak from a care package okay that's not your own and i really don't use that too much okay uh dirty bomb i don't really play dirty bomb too much but these are all the dirty bomb um all the dirty bomb stuff uh except vote Decline, so I'm on a 60% uh, keyboard. So function plus six, that's my F6 and my F7. I don't ever really use those at all. Gas, W, uh, again, everything is right in where, um, right where it needs to be, just in this little bubble. Forget this part of the keyboard. Literally everything is right here, okay? so that is pretty much everything guys um text i have enter to text so push to talk i actually switched this to alt it's super easy to for me for when it comes to push to talk just to press alt i just flip my thumb over underneath like on the other side of the space bar if i need to talk that way my hands are pretty free i don't have to jump like it's not a necessary key you know what i mean so that is that so basically these are all my key binds guys you can personally set up your key binds the way that you want them and the way the biggest tip if you guys have to take anything out of this guys you want it to be literally right where you could reach your right or your left hand okay you want it to fluently be able to flawlessly move through keys okay you don't want to do too much movement WASD traditionally, but you don't have to play WASD. You could play, you know, another different way. I don't know, E, F, and then A, right? You can move over here if you need to. Key, like the beauty about PC and making your key binds is you can customize it to you, okay? If you wanna play with your keyboard like this, no one's stopping you, man. No one's stopping you. If you wanna play with your keyboard slightly tilted, and you know maybe it's easier for you to play like this to reach you know two three or slide down here oh hit my windows key um slide down to uh control maybe it's easier for you to hit control this way some people play the different way it's all up to you guys so i hope you guys learned something useful in this video i was gonna stay blessed and stay humble season one is dropping in a couple of days so be sure to check the channel out for a lot of season one content, news, updates. We're getting into that, guys. We're going hard this year. Like I said, stay blessed and stay humble. Peace.